see that rubber gave me that cute. I know I've referred to Gabriel. Gabriel is here to answer the question many of you have asked. I'll let him get his groom in here, let him relax, chew my ear, and I'll continue. You're gonna do it again, aren't you? You're gonna kiss mommy on the face. Oh, that's a really rough time. Ow. <laughs> Take my skin off. Are cheated tongues rough? Does it feel like sandpaper? Does it hurt when they lick you? These are the kind of questions Gabriel is going to answer himself, demonstratively. Lay down, buddy. Lay down with me. Good boy. All right, cool. But first, here's how I would describe the sensation. First, buy a piece of tin grit sandpaper. The tin grit's harder to come by because most things will grind down with less. The lower the grit rating, the rougher the surface. As you see in this sandpaper grit chart, a rating from 20 to 30 handles most tough jobs. A sandpaper rating of 20 or below is off the charts. Tin grit grade sandpaper is about how I would describe the feeling of a cheetah grooming. But you'd have to add one more thing. Hundreds and hundreds of tiny shark teeth all pointed backwards. You take these tiny shark teeth and you glue them to the tin grit sandpaper. You rub this against your skin, against the grain, and that's about how it feels. This is a close-up of Gabriel's tongue, showing the hundreds of spines on it. They cover about 95% of the surface of his tongue. They're hard and sharp and composed of a substance called keratin, the same thing in our fingernails and a cheetah's claws. The spines in the front are longer than the ones in the back for grooming purposes. The spines can point upward or lay flat based on the position of the tongue. Scientists are actually using the anatomy of a cat's tongue mm -hmm. to build a better hairbrush. You can put that down, yeah, so you can see there. Uh, yeah, I think we relaxed. Yeah, look at that. Cheetah tongue. Mm -hmm. All the mm -hmm. spines. Sure. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gabriel was under sedation for his annual checkup and how I got to film his tongue. He scars, but he gets it easy, kind of pinches his side of his tongue sometimes, huh? Mm -hmm. Like in a coming video, I'll show Gabriel's checkup, what goes on and how it's done. Which looks all good. I'm pleased to say Gabriel passed his medical checkup. So like I say, his breath does not smell bad. It doesn't, and of course it's got that masking uh, saliva. I bet you're still wondering how Gabriel's going to demonstratively show how a cheetah tongue feels. Just looking at Gabriel's mouth, you can imagine, but here it is. People always ask, well, why, how, why does a cheetah tongue hurt? Well, in... In uh, honor of Coyote Peterson, I'm gonna let Gabriel here, my favorite cheetah, lick my arm until I can take no more. All right, in honor of Coyote Peterson, I'm gonna educate natural history through pain. All cat's tongues have spines on them. The little sharp, backward pointing fingernails, basically. And the design is to lick basically meat off a bone. That's what its, it's primary purpose is, to lick meat off a bone. So, and also to groom the hair too. Then uh, and it's also to comb their fur, keep it tidy, uh, you remove debris, blood bits, and that kind of thing. It's when they after they feed all cats. But cheetahs have extra, extraordinarily sharp tongues. Their tongues are very narrow, but they're wide enough to have these spikes uh, cut into you. So I can't let them look at any one place very long, or I get injured. And I'll show you. What else about a cheetah tongue? It uh, also has a high surface area. It's it allows uh, lapping up water when they drink. It's uh, all those backward pointing uh, hundreds of them, spines, on their entire tongue, uh, lap up water. And the bigger the cat, the bigger the spines. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to let Gabriel, hey buddy, let Gabriel come straight here. Hey buddy. I'm going to let Gabriel lick my arm until it, uh, it bleeds. Okay, here's, a, here's the before. Nice and clean. And you hear the raspy sound. Show you what a, a cheetah tongue can do to your skin if you don't if you don't keep moving or you look in the same spot so many times. Using Gabriel to demonstrate. He's glad to lick my arm till it bleeds.
Gabriel. So right now it looks, still looks good. A little bit red. There's one little spot of blood. You see that? It's like a razor burn out. You, know, you barely feel it. <laughs> Break time. Oh, well, Gabriel. And you see it oozing through. But I guess what? That's just, uh, you know, it's like a conveyor belt of these spines uh, raking across your skin or the meat of a bone, you know, it's incredible. You done, buddy? And hair, interesting, cheetahs love hair. It's very instinctive for them. They like, they like the feel of it, the taste of it, everything about hair. So that's why I got a hairy arm. Oh, that's beginning to hurt. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Oh, Gabriel, that hurts. Oh, let's see what kind of damage he's done on my arm. Oh, this is for science. And people think, oh, if he sees taste blood, he's gonna go crazy. No, uh, Gabriel's a friend of mine. Uh, taste of blood does not have any effect on him when it comes from me. Oh, can I see that? Let me, look at that, Gabriel. Let me see. You can see it's turning red there. Oh, Gabriel, it hurts though. And that's why I move my head a lot when I'm letting him my face. Oh, uh, because his spines will cut into me if I don't move with the flow. And I also keep moving my arm, move my body, different places where he can groom. And Gabriel has one of the sharpest tongues I've ever felt on a cheetah. I think he's keep burn. Yeah, I'm a friend. I'm a friend to Gabriel. Oh, see there. I stop. See, look at that. See that blood on my arm. I'm not gonna go too deep. It's, uh, and also, you know, there's well, there's these cats have you know they have dirty mouths. They do. But I've known Gabriel for five years now. There's such thing, such thing as immunity. And you can see the blood there on my arm. Just from looking there, I don't know how many times that was. It's like getting to a center of a lollipop, but a human lollipop. How many looks does it take? So there you go, you see it. You see my arm, uh, the blood on it. So, and that's just from that, you know, two minute, one minute look, however long that was, I'll time it. So how long does it take to get to the center of a human lollipop? I'll ask Gabriel. Hey, hey, hey look, 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 my, look my chin this time, buddy. You're just making me bleed, buddy. There you go. So I always do like this with Gabriel. Move my chin so it doesn't cut me. He's cut my face before. It's like a razor burn. And uh, I built up immunity, to Gabriel. He's built up, he's built up immunity to me. So, hey, buddy. Well, thank you for demonstrating that. That's very good of you, Gabriel. So he tastes tastes my blood. You know, it's like, and it's just I'm a friend to him. I'm like family. So it has little meaning of that he tasted. I'm sure he tasted. But it's also why I built I grew out this goatee just for Gabriel so that he can uh, groom me without injuring me so much. One day I just got a whole giant beard. Yeah, there's a socialization in grooming too. It's not just uh, the, pleasurable, the pleasurable effect Gabriel has on it. I'm his friend, you know, and he, it's, it means something to him emotionally. And he won't do this to someone he doesn't like. Well, thank you, Gabriel, I appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for demonstrating the power of a cheetah tongue. Huh? Uh, it's like a razor burn. Now uh, this actually hurts, so but it's not. I mean, it's not bad. It's just a little bit of scrape there. But I used to get infected. I did. I, the, the skin bubbled up. There is a such thing as immunity uh, when you know doing this kind of thing. Um, but I just want to demonstrate to you how effective a cheetah tongue is. It's incredible. Uh, I'm just not any cat tongue really. So there is such thing as immunity. Uh, Gabriel, after five years, has built up immunity to me. I mean, I have certain type of organisms on my skin. We all do, bacteria. But I'd never have any salve on me. I never uh, let Gabriel look at me with any kind of um, any kind of salve, uh, whether it be moisturizer or sunblock. Never. So now, when Gabriel looks at me like this, it just scabs up, heals, because my body has become immune to to him, immune to his disease, and he's become immune to me. So. Uh, that's how I can do this and not have any effect from it. I mean, it's that way for anything, really. I mean, even allergens. If you, the more you expose yourself to the allergens at a certain level, uh, the more immunity you build up to it. So, um, there you go. Um,
demonstrating science through pain. If you like this video, please share it and give it a thumbs up. And consider joining my channel. Join my coalition.